Hi there, my name is Javier Garza, and I'm a developer advocate based in San Francisco, California. My personal motto is share what you know and learn what you don't. Let's jump into a demo so I can show you how you can leverage GitHub Actions to automatically manage DNS records as code. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to GitHub and we are going to create a new repository. GitHub DNS Action. And I'm going to just create the repository. Perfect. So the next thing that we have to do is we need to configure an action, which is usually a YAML file. So we can go here, actions. We are going to set up our workflow. And here is the marketplace on the right hand side. And I'm going to search for Akamai. So you can see there are several actions. And the last one, it says deploy Akamai HDNS zones, which is what we are going to do. So you can see here, there are some instructions, but I'm going to open this in a new tab so that we can see the full instructions. You can see I created this action and basically what it does is calls the Akamai DNS API to deploy a DNS zone file into the corresponding Akamai DNS uh, zone. So basically you can see the repository expects a file which has the name of the domain dot zone, which is here. We have an example. We also have to have the API credentials like this on the on a variable called HRC, which is part of the um, repository secrets. And then the last thing we do is we need to set up the YAML file for the action itself with this code. And we only need to replace the zone name with our zone. So with our DNS zone, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my repository and I'm going to go to the step section here. I'm going to copy and paste and replace all this with my steps. You can see the indentation need to fix that. So now it looks good for YAML files. Indentation is important. So you can see I need to provide two things. The first thing is the um, zone name, which I'm going to put here in case my zone is called akamaidevelopernet And we need to create the secrets with the API credentials. I am going to open the repository settings in a new tab. So it's open it here. And if I click on secrets, you can see it's empty. We don't have any secrets. So I'm going to add a new one, which I'm going to call it HRC. I'm going to copy and paste the credentials from a text file I have here. It's important that we indicate the section as DNS because the GitHub action expects that and click add secret and there we have so i have this so now i can go back to my repository and click start commit so when i click start commit you know this file is going to be safe my yaml file that has the github action and if i go to the actions i will see that is already a workflow running you know you can see here, create main.yml. This is running. If I click here, you can see the build. All right. So here we have, um, let's see the error. You say error, Akamai developer.net zone file is missing. And it says, you may want to add a file called akamaidevelopernet.zone into a repository with a content similar to, to the ones below. And you can see the API when and check um, the value of the zone, making an API call. So I can actually create a config file here. Like we'll call it akamaidevelopernet.zone with these values. So let me copy this. I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go to my repository and I'm going to create a new file. And the name of the file is Akamai 
developer.net.zone and I'm going to paste here the zone value. So if you're familiar with DNS zone, you know that every time you update the zone, you need to update the serial number. So I need to increase it. So basically you can see it's 804 at the end. So I'm going to type 805 and I'm going to add a new, um, I'm going to change, for example, I'm going to delete all these records here and I'm going to basically delete everything and put it Javier GitHub action. All right. So I'm going to commit this file. And now we have the the zone file here saved. And because I committed, the GitHub action is going to run again. So if we go back to the actions tab, you can see we have a second uh, workflow running. You can see the first one that I ran three minutes ago failed because I didn't have the, the main file with the zone values. And if I click here, you can see this one is running right now. The build is running. And again, you can see the same steps you know, it's pulling the Docker image from Akamai that sets the development environment. That Docker file has many different tools, including the Akamai CLI, HTTPI, and, and so on. So we are going to see how everything is running. Entry point.sh is running the script that runs the API. All right, deploying DNS zone file. So now it's deploying the making the API calls and seems like uh, it succeeded. Okay, here we have the code. So you can see check the zone exists. So it make this API call using HTTP to upload the zone to Akamai. The API return file accepted and return the version of, of the new zone. So I make a second call. I mean the GitHub action workflow make a second call asking to get an update of that version. And the response from the API is the state is pending. It means the zone, the new zone is already, has been accepted by Akamai HDNS service and is pending in the network. And you can see a message, zone is activating. It should take less than five minutes to complete. So we'll wait a few minutes and I'm going to open a terminal command let me clean the screen and I'm going to type the command dig Javier github action dot akamai developer dot net and we can see it's already working the record exists and points to the to what I have configured on my code so we go back to my code here to its own, you can see it's a CNAME to bc.akamidevelopers.com. So you can see if I want to make a new change, I will just edit here, increase this. For example, I can add a new one, Javier 2, save again, and I will do a new change. And you can see it took me three seconds to add a new entry. And basically, this will create a new CNAME for this uh, host name. Basically, will result to a CNAME BC. The benefit of doing this way, compared with adding individual records, is in this way you can update many records at the same time. For example, I could change three records, add four records, and delete um, five ones. And when I submit the zone, everything will be pushed to Akamai at once. Right, so that finished this demo. You can see it's super easy to set up this, and you can go to to the GitHub Actions to see the logs and see everything that happens. I hope you find this information useful, and remember to share what you know and learn what you don't. Thank you very much. Bye.